Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of The Crafting Coach. Thank you so much for joining me again. My name is Megan Rosendahl, I am The Crafting Coach, and this week we are gonna make a simple piece of wall art that fits perfectly into our fall theme. If you love decorating for fall, then I think you're really going to like this. This week we're going to gather some leaves to make a beautiful silhouette. This project is simple enough so anyone can do it, yet the end result is stunning. Plus, even though it's leaves and fall related, I think it's something that can be displayed all year. So here's what you'll need for this week's project. One canvas. Choose any size you'd like. Leaves. Snip them off further down on the stem so you have several leaves to work with. Acrylic paint for the base layer, any color. And spray paint for the top layer, again, in any color. You'll also need spray adhesive and a paintbrush. The first thing you'll want to do is paint your base color. Get this on the canvas first so you can let it dry. Be sure to paint the edges of your canvas as well. While that's drying, take the time to decide how you'd like your leaves to look on your canvas. Play around with a more simple approach or see what it looks like with a lot of leaves. Once your canvas is dry, go ahead and grab your leaves and your spray adhesive. Spray the back side of the leaves and press them down onto your painted surface. Press down the edges of your leaf as cleanly as possible so the next layer of paint won't seep underneath it. When you're ready, spray the entire canvas surface with your spray paint. If you watched any of my other projects, then you'll know that I love gold. So of course that's the color I chose to use. Stay about one to two feet away from the canvas and move from left to right for a nice, even application. Be sure to do this in an area with plenty of ventilation. Peel away the leaves while the paint is still wet to avoid any cracking. Make sure to do this slowly. Isn't this simple? It looks so intricate, but in reality it's just not as hard as it looks, which I've come to find out is the same for most of the projects that I've done on this show. Once again, we've found a project that you can customize any number of ways. Pick your own background color, pick your own spray paint color, and pick your own leaves. No two projects will look the same, and I think that's great. Well, I need to thank you once again for sitting down and taking the time to watch this video with me. As always, I'll be back next Saturday morning at 11 a.m. with another brand new fall-inspired craft just for you. I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek. Take a look. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my crafting coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook, where all of the crafting coach projects are made available for you. If you have tips, ideas, or suggestions, or if you want to send me photos of any of your completed projects, please do so at mrosendahl at AberdeenNews.com. Want to win this project? Just click the link right on this page and enter your information. We'll see all of you in one week. Bye!